Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome to my Knot channel. In this video, we're gonna have a look at how to hang a food hang when you're in bear country to protect your food and your campers from bears. All right, so let's have a look. Okay, so let's get started. So first, let me say there's a lot of different ways to hang your food from bears or any animal for that matter. What I'm gonna show you is what I found to be the most effective way and it's popular amongst rangers and wardens in game parks and you know provincial or state parks across North America. Okay, so the first part is you're gonna need two pieces of paracord and you want them to be as long as possible. We're talking somewhere between 25 and 50 feet, okay? The second is you're gonna want to have a small pulley, either a half inch or three quarter inch pulley, something that the paracord can fit through the wheel and that's strong enough that it's gonna carry the weight of your food bag, which surprisingly does get fairly heavy. And the last part is the carabiner. Now a carabiner is optional, but it's useful when clipping onto your food bag to hoist it up, but it's also useful to add extra weight when you go to throw the rope up over the tree limb or whatever part of the tree that you can access. Okay, so the first part is that we need to throw our rope up over a branch or a V in the tree. Now, the benefit of using the pulley system is that you don't need a long branch and throw your rope up far away from the tree. What we'll do is just focus on getting enough height, and that's the most important thing. Okay, so what I've already done is I have my pulley attached with a running bowlin, I'll provide a link in the description, but basically it's just a bowlin knot with the tail end or the standing part fed through the fixed loop of the bowlin, okay? I like the bowlin because it's nice and secure, it's not gonna slip later on, and it's adjustable that I can open it up so that I can attach my carabiner, all right? And now that's gonna provide me extra weight to throw up over the branch. Okay, so I've got this birch and it's got a nice long branch that sticks out. Uh, the branch is definitely high enough. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you have a nice long branch because even if I threw this up over, you know, 10 feet out, the weight of the bag, depending on how much is in it, could snap that branch off. So really, you just want, if you have a full branch, if you come out, a foot or two from the trunk, that's plenty. And you know that you're not gonna have too much weight out at the end of the limb to cause flex or to snap the branch off. Okay, so now I've got the paracord that's attached to my pulley with the carabiner hooked on up over the branch and down, okay? And right now I just have the other end of this paracord tied off over there temporarily, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this carabiner so that it's just the pulley. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my other paracord and I'm gonna pass it through the pulley and I'm gonna feed it all the way through. Okay, so I've got my paracord with the pulley up over the branch and I've got my second paracord run through the pulley. I've got my fixed loop, in this case it's a bowlin. You can use whatever fixed loop you want, just make sure it's a good secure one. And I've passed my carabiner onto that fixed loop. So now I'm gonna go back to the paracord that has my pulley and I'm gonna hoist it up, but I'm gonna hoist it up so that it's still hanging down about six to 10 feet from that branch. In my opinion, learning to hang a food bag properly is an essential skill for anyone traveling into an area that has wild animals. Not hanging your food runs the risk of losing your food to animals, potentially teaching animals that they can find food in campsites and the increased risk of bad encounters with animals. All up, 
it's a smart thing to do. Okay, so I now have my pulley up pretty high. Definitely high enough that a bear won't be able to reach it. The problem is bears climb trees and right now I can reach out so a bear would definitely be able to reach out. But that's okay because the pulley system takes care of that. What I need to do first is I need to tie off the pulley line to an anchor point. Now it can be the same tree that you use for the branch or you can use a different one. Now the thing is what I'm going to suggest is that you use a secure hitch knot to tie off on because if a bear does go up and is trying to get the bag you don't want your knot to fail and the, the food bag fall down because of your poor knot. Okay so you could use a a tot line hitch or a round turn and two half hitches and I think that in this case I'll use a round turn and two half hitches. I'm not going to use the anchor tree but there's a smaller tree here just tucked in and I think that I'll use that one. It'll be strong enough to hold the line and that's all I need. If you're new to camping or would just like to improve your skills, then I would like to also recommend my video, Nine Knots That You Should Know. In that video, I demonstrate nine very useful knots for camping and other uses. I'll put a link in the description and also at the end of the video. All right, so we've got the line with the pulley in place and it's secured off, it's anchored. The final step is now to just attach the food bag to the carabiner hoist it up with the other paracord and then tie it off. Okay, so as I lift the bag up, I'm directly underneath the pulley. So the bag is completely vertical in a straight line underneath the pulley. I want to lift the bag all the way until it can't go any further. So when the carabiner makes contact with the pulley, I've maxed out my distance. So now, what I can do is I can walk away from the tree and because the bag is connected to this line, the bag will sway out away from the tree, giving me more clearance from the tree so the bear can't reach out to get the bag. Okay, and so now I've tied off my second rope to the anchor point, and again, I used a round turn and two half hitches. And the reason is when you have the weight of the bag up, you've got a lot of load, and so doing a round turn around an anchor point will help secure that load while you tie off your knot, and so you might as well just do round turn and two half hitches. Now, I do my round turn, I do a hitch, and then I do my second hitch, the two half hitches, I do the second hitch as a slip, but all the same round turn and two half hitches knot. So there you have it, how to hang a food hang. Now, as promised, here's a link to my video, nine knots that you should know. I hope you check it out. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. All right, thanks for watching.